Hello, so here you are. You finished your master's, you finished your education, and now you need to take the NCE, the National Counselor Examination. I know that most of us dread it because we know, especially when you're first out of school and you go, oh my goodness, we're going to have to go back and study everything again because you do forget a lot. And I have to say that the first thing that to me, I feel much differently about the NCE after having taken it last week, very fresh. And that's why I decided to do this uh, video because I wanted to help those who are struggling like I was like a month ago. <laughs> I actually studied for about 40 days and that was more than enough. And that's what I'm going to dive into today. I'm going to talk to you about my method of studying. I'm, I'm giving you some tips. We're going to cover the register registration process for the NCE. Believe me, that's a very important step to take because it takes forever. It's very bureau bureaucratic. So we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the test itself, about the study materials, the options that you have, where you can get them, and the areas that the test covers. So everything you need to know to succeed. But before we get into the test, I would like for you to take a look at my website understandsuicide.com. This is my area of work. This is my passion. I work with suicide prevention, but also if you're here on YouTube, it means that you might uh, be on my channel. So if you are, there are many, many, you will see, just scroll around the videos. I have many like book reviews, all in the area of mental health. So please subscribe, take a look at the videos. I listen, I, it's all interviews. So I mean, at least 90% of the of these videos are interviews. So scroll scroll around and if you think that the content is interesting to you, which I'm, I'm sure it will be because it's all in, in our field of work. I talk to authors, to clinicians, to experts in many areas of of this field. So take a just take a moment and if you're interested subscribe to my channel and also go to my website. And lastly, if you like podcasts, I'm a pod, podcast crazy. <laughs> I'm a maniac for podcasts. I listen to so many of them and actually on my website you'll find my list of my favorite but I also have a podcast. It's called Understand Suicide. But now let's just dive into the NCE and I will start with the registration. You might be asking yourself, why is registration important? Why you just go online and you pay whatever fee you have to pay? By the way, it's $275. Uh, and no. It's a very complicated, it's a three-step registration. And the reason why I, I wanted to tell you about this is because of timing. I don't know when you're taking it and you have to take your life into consideration, right? Your uh, clinical work, your patients, your holidays. So first thing you have to do, and I am talking from Oregon, so it might be a little different in each state. I don't know what it looks like in yours, but I believe these three steps is kind of universal in the U.S. So you have to first ask for permission from your board, from your local, your state board. They have to give you permission. And at least in Oregon, I don't know what it's like in yours, but in, in our state, it took a few weeks. So I think it was about three weeks for me to get their permission and they send you any, you have to send them an email and then you get all the instructions. They give you permission, they give you the instructions. So the second step after, after that, you go to the National Board of Certified Counselors, the NBCC, and I'll have all the links below for you, okay? All the step-by-step -step and all the websites. But then you have to go there, you pay for the test, they have to give you they have to, to I, I believe the board sends you a number, but you have to go to the NBCC because they're the, they actually the one who administer the test. They're the ones responsible for the test. So you get your permission from the board, then you go to NBCC and they will give you a number which takes a while to get to, a few days to a few weeks, depends on the state. And then after that, then you go to the, 
to the P, um, I believe it's called Pearson to the Pearson website, and that these they are actually the ones who they have like the facilities where you go and take the test. So three steps. I know it's ridiculous. It's really bureaucratic. I don't get it either, but it's important for you to know because this whole process for me, and I, as I told you, I took it last week. It took me around two months just to register for the test. So take that into consideration, okay? And then when you register, you have two options. You can either go to a testing facilities. I think it depends on the city where you are to see if they have one. I think in most cities they will, but if they don't, they do give you the option of taking online. So you have these two options. You either register to go you know, physically to a testing center, and it's pretty straightforward. You schedule it online, and you see the options that they have. They give you the address, and they actually send you. I think I got maybe three days before of the day a reminder of the day with all the all the instructions. For example, and this is important too, in Oregon, check you you're going to get all these instructions after you you register. But here, I had to bring. I've never done that in my life. Two IDs. With, two, with pictures, you have to have two picture IDs. One has to be uh, at least a driver's license, something that's uh, issued by your state or federally, or in another one with your, with your image. But keep that in mind because not many people have two picture IDs. So that's for in-person. If it's online, and I talked to my friend who took two days after me, and she told me that you only needed one ID. So online is different, but you again, there is a whole process for the online. You have to have a clear space, take pictures of the space. You can't you can't leave your computer because they have to see you all the whole time you're taking the test. But that's pretty much it. So three steps to register and then two options online or in person. Now let me tell you something more specific about the test itself. So the test has a lot of application questions and that's actually what I found was lacking in this book. I will talk, my next section will be about the studying material and that's basically what I use and that's what most people use. It's really excellent. But Dr. Rosenthal, I have to say I'm a big fan. I love your book. I think you do a great job. But if I were you, I would add a section on just cases in application because my test was mainly that. So cases like, let's say you have a patient who comes in with uh, an addiction uh, problem or a diagnosis with addiction and then they give you they give you like a case like a case study but just some information about patient a patient and then they ask you what would be the best choice or what would you do first what would be the first thing to do or something like that so a lot of my questions were like that a lot of questions are theory based for sure but i found that mine was very application based and i checked with my friends the two friends i had two friends who one who did a couple of months before i did and one who did two days later and both of them said the same yes i i do miss more application questions in the all this prep material that uh, i'm going to show you later but the other thing that i thought and this actually changed my mind i used to think that the best time to take the NCE would be right fresh out of school because you have everything fresh in your mind, you remember a lot of the theory, and no, I don't believe that anymore. So if I could give you a tip today, my first one would be wait a little bit until you have a little bit of experience, at least a year, a year and a half, and that's that might be included in internship, but I, I would say I would say two years would be the best for me. It's almost two years since I finished school. I, I got a, a master's program. So wait a little bit because it's going to take knowledge, but practical knowledge, things that without having patience 
and having clients in and out and this ex this kind of experience hands-on experience will be very important the theory you can learn with the books but the practice you need a little bit so if i were you and i'm i'm actually happy that i waited a little bit i was like most of you just dragging and dragging oh my god i have to take the nce and then one day i just decided you know what, i'm gonna get it out of the way but anyway do wait a little bit because the practice really makes there is there's so many questions you read through them and you go this is just basic common sense for those who have experience they have seen clients so i would wait a little bit i don't know two, year and a half two years at least so that you have both you can review the theory with the books but you have that baggage already of practical hands-on experience okay so that's the first thing to do the content outline let me just go to the computer now and show you what the nbcc website tells you again i'll have all these links below but they actually have a content outline and i'll explain more about the test this is the content outline and you can find this. I really suggest that you download it because it gives you an overview of the content of the test. But basically what you need to know is that the test has 200 multiple choice questions, but only 160 are scored. Because what they do is they throw in 40 questions that are just test questions and they are going they're just testing these questions to see whether or not they should use in future exams but it does give you a good overall of the areas that you need to focus on and within each of these areas you can have an idea of what they're going to ask about so these are the topics within this area so professional practice and ethics um, intake assessment and diagnosis, areas of clinical focus, and then just go very detailed into what you need to know. So it's really helpful. And at the end, just so you understand, and that's what uh, the purple book is, is actually, or how it's organized, it's in these areas of the KCREP area. So human growth and development, career and development, uh, counseling and helping relationships. So I will have a link below so that you can download this uh, content outline because it is really helpful for you to know what it looks like. Finally, just a detail. Um, I don't know if I mentioned, uh, I, th I don't think I did, but the test takes four hours. Of those four hours, you're going to spend a little, maybe 10, 15 minutes just reading through the instructions. You get uh, 200 questions, that, as I just showed you on the content outline. And then you go through, what you do is you go through the questions. When you do it, it's different from online and in person. So all these little details that will make you, um, you know, will help you make a more informed decision. So if you take it in person, like I did, I went to the test center, you go there, you sit down and you take the whole test if you want. I took a break. That's That will be at the end, I'll, I'll give you some tips that will really help you, uh, not just with the method of study, but also the Take, taking the test itself but you can take you can take a break whenever you want but the difference is when you do it in person you can go through question one to question 200 and then you flag you have the opportunity the ones that you're not sure about you want to go back and review you just flag them there is a way to flag it you just it's just a click you answer them you flag the question and then when you finish you can go back and review all of them and then make your decision and just unflag it so that's that's when you go in person if it's online what my friend told me was that they do two batches so you have to do 100 and then you flag whichever ones you need to flag and then you have the opportunity to you have to close those those hundred that that packet of 100 so you have to review the first hundred finish that close and then you can take a break my friend took a break went to the bathroom came back and then you have the second you cannot go back to those uh, uh, first hundred questions in person you can you can go back as many times within the time frame of four hours so for me just to give you an idea it took me around three hours and 10 minutes to finish the test, go back, 
uh, unflag everything that I needed to unflag and really finish and, and just get up and leave. So I didn't use the four hours, but my, one of my friends used four hours. The other ones was, the other one was kind of like me at three hours, 10 minutes, 15 minutes. Okay. But just so you know, it's a little bit different from online to in person. So let's talk about the material that you have at hand. We'll go to the website and BCC again. Uh, they, they have a website and they have suggestions on, on where to get your material. And they, they, it's kind of a pre-approved list of material that they know will help you prepare. So let's just go there. So here I am on the national board for certified counselors and they actually give you options and suggestions for how to get ready for the test so it gives you like the more matrix that's these are the flashcards that i showed you and the book the nce book that has like a summary of everything it, it, they just give you some options and dr howard rosenthal's is this one this option here but i will show you you can either go directly i will show you his website and but i will show you some other options on how to get the book for a more of you know more affordable because it is an expensive material so if you want to go to their national board of, of certified counselors uh you can get some uh links here and you can choose where you want to get this preparation material so just looking at that, you make your own decision. Now I'm going to tell you what worked for me. And I believe this is the most common book that uh, everybody that I ask, well, how did you get prepared? How did you get prepared? Oh, no, it's the purple book, the purple book. So the purple book is this one. It's one of the, it's right, it's there on the NBCC website. So it's called the Encyclopedia. This is the fourth edition of counseling. Dr. Rosenthal, I'm a fan. He does such a great job at making those theories and statistics, career development, all of that, he makes it sound fun and light and he goes back to the same content, uh, concepts over and over again. And what I love about this book is that it's all questions and answers. So it's not theory per se. It's not, okay, career development and they have all these sections with theory. No, it, all of it is questions. Let me just show you a little bit of what the, the, this book looks like, but it's like taking a test. It has, let me see how many pages, it's about 730 pages of questions and answers. So you are studying, getting familiar with all the topics that you need to know for the test, but also you are training the question and answer, which is based on, and it's exactly what the test looks like. So it's a great book. Let me just dive into the book. Okay. So here's a quick overview of the book. I will show you the content page. It starts, these are the areas that it covers. Forget about this. These are just information about the test so you can read it, but the content itself for the NCE is here. So human growth and development. And then he goes into social and cultural diversity. Let me just zoom in a little bit to make this easier for you to see. There you go. Group counseling, career development, a lot of those, assessment and testing, research and program evaluation, professional orientation and ethical practice, very, very important. Counseling, families, diagnosis, neurocounseling, and advanced concepts. So everything you need for the test is here. And then he gives us this brief overview, which is really, really helpful. Let me just show you. 647. There you go. And he just gives you a summary of everything that he went through, but very short. And it's really great for the, you know, this last couple of days when you're going to just uh, go through quickly some kind of summary. You know, all the, all the terms are here. Again, my blue for terms. And it's really, really helpful the end. And he gives us a little bit of of that in all the areas, assessment and testing, and he divides it into research. So again, through those topics that are in the, in the content page. So it's a great, great book. And honestly, if you go through this book, you, you have everything you need really. But I will give you 
another one, an option of one. If you want to get another book, I will give you one that was really helpful for me, but I actually only used it the last two days because it's, you know, this boot camp that he does at the end here with just the, like summary of everything. The whole book is like that. So I found it really helpful and I think you could benefit from it. And in case you want a second book, I'll just quickly run through it, okay? Here is another tip for you, shop around. So right here I am on Routledge, uh, that's the publisher of the purple book. So you can buy it here, paperback 55, hardback 152, and the ebook e 5596. But really shop around because there are a lot of people like me, we do the test and then when we want to just get rid of the book because we don't want to look at it again. Uh, mine I actually, I am actually giving to a friend, but Anyway, if you go to on Amazon, and there are many other options. I saw even cheaper ones. So you have paperback here for from 14 to 28, and it's the fourth edition too. The tag e-text 20 plus you can rent, right? You can buy used. So there are many options. It's just to say that you can go shop around. Don't buy on the first place that you see because you will save a lot of money, okay? The other option that you have is just go directly to his website, howardrosenthal.com. And he has a lot of offers here, so you can kind of bundle it together, which helps, for example, if you want to get the audio parts too. But here you can see testimonials. They have all, He has all the kits here. Uh, let me see where... Yeah, the CD exam. I don't know what he does CD. So maybe he has some YouTube videos. Maybe the CDs you can download. Let me just look because I actually had mine uh, already as an MP3. So maybe he has some options for MP3 now. I don't know because CD really, what do you do with a CD? But anyway, he has some bundles here that you can buy. You can, you can also buy directly from him. See, every time you come in, there is always this um, pop-up here that gives you a lot of bonuses. So anyway, just shop around and see what works best for you. Here's the second book that I wanted to show you. As I said before, it's very, it's more like a summary style. It doesn't have questions and answers like Rosenthal's does, but it's just quickly career counseling and it goes through all the theorists and it's very, everything very brief. So as a summary, like the last two days, let's, let me just go over all of this once again. It was really helpful for me, but it's not necessary. It does help though. And it has all the areas, of course, the content areas of the NCE. And they also, it's this uh, company here, I'll have a link down below on my notes if you're interested, because they have not only this book, but they have these um, uh, flashcards. And it's actually a lot, look at this. I hardly ever use those, to be honest, but I do think that they're practical. They add, you know, it's very practical to just carry them around in your bag and they are again separated into areas. See, this one is fundamentals of counseling. This one here is research and program evaluation. You have career development. So if you want to just bring something around, or even if you're lying down in your bed and you don't want to hold a book, you can just carry these. So these are helpful, not necessary. Again, if you have the purple book, you're, you are set for the test. But if you want to just, you know, I think test taken is about feeling confident. So if you need more, I am just giving you options, okay? So yeah, these are the three things that I wanted to show you. And now let's just go to the next part of my video. Now let's dive into the method of study. I used to, every time I had a test before, the way that I would study, I would just put aside an hour a day, depending on when the test was. But for the NCE, I, I changed that a little bit and I think it was really helpful. What I did was, I'm going to do all the calculations for a month. It's absolutely possible for you to study for a month. It does depend, of course, on your scheduling and everything. But what I did was, two thirds of the time that I had, I use those two thirds to read the whole book. 
And then one third, you put it aside to review. Because what you do is you're going to answer questions. As I told you, the book is all questions and answers, questions and answers. And then he explains every single option, why this one is right, why this one is wrong, and what the best, and sometimes why all of them are right, but this one would be the best option. So that's why sometimes he has like a whole page of explanation for that one question. But anyway, what you do is, let's say you have 30 days to study. You're going to have 20 days to go through the whole books, which gives you, I did the math, 35 pages. That's what I did. 35 pages a day. So that's why we're not talking about time, because that would depend on you. I don't know if you're a slow reader. I'm kind of a slow reader. So it, it would take me, just, just to give you a, a broad idea, it would take me an average of two hours, two and a half hours every day to read those 35 pages. And that could be even an hour and a half, two hours, because it depends on the pages too. I will show you what the book looks like and how the content and how different it is. Some content, you just go through 10 pages really quickly because it's just questions and answers. Let me just show you on the book. Let me show you what that looks like. So you will have some sections that will look like this, like a whole page that you need to really read through and memorize and try to understand. But then you have something like this that's just quickly questions and answers. So that's why I say it's not about the time, but the number of pages. It, sometimes it will take you an hour, sometimes it will take you an hour and a half, sometimes it will take you two hours, because it depends on how much information you have on each page. And some of these sections are really, really heavy. So yeah, I just wanted to show you why I say that. See, look at this one, see? It's, it's going to take you a while to go through these two pages, right? So I just wanted to show you what, what I meant by, by saying that, okay? See, it will depend on which section you're reading. But just keep in mind that you have to read 35, and of course, if you have two months, that's gonna be cut in half. So you do your math, I'm doing the math for a month. So you're going to have, for 20 days, you're going to read every single page of this book. And when you finish, then you're going to have uh, all the, you mark all the questions that you got wrong, and then you're going to review the whole book it's one third of the time for the last 10 days before the, before the test, you're going to go through it again and just read the ones that you got wrong. So that's the method that worked for me, worked for my friend. She kind of did the same thing that I did. We both went through the whole book and then we went back and just reviewed the ones that we got wrong. And then at the end, I used that's the last two days. What I did was I used the other book, the more mixed book, because um, the one that I, the second book that I showed you, because it's just review, review, review of, of concepts. So it's really helpful for that, but you don't have to. If you just go through the ones that you got wrong and then you learn a little bit more, that's really helpful. And the last thing that I have to tell you about the, the method is Dr. Rosenthal, he also has CDs. And I think for the last maybe week, yeah, maybe the last week that I was studying, every time I had some like driving time or I, I take walks every day and I had walks, I, I could take a walk, I would listen to him and he's really cool to listen to, I have to say. He's very light, very, makes a lot of jokes. He, he really makes an effort to not drag you into this, oh my God, this is such a heavy material. He makes it as light as he can. He makes a lot of jokes. He's just, he's, he's a delight to listen to. So I actually listened to him for the last week, but it's not necessary. It's just an extra in case you want to, because guys, it's all about you feeling confident about the test. I think it didn't make that huge of a difference just listening but it does help you retain retain the information and anything that will make you feel more confident is helpful so do whatever is best for you but this method worked for me and what i also do is i color code when i'm studying let me just show you what that looks like so quickly i will show you what this looks like so my color coding system is very simple actually I use yellow for highlighting, of course, but this is something that I know when I go back to the book and I'm just scrolling through it, 
this is something that I know it's important to know. So I just use that for that. The blue one I use for concepts, for definitions, for terms that I may not know what they mean or I just need to be reminded. And I'll show you what that looks like in, in the book because it's my book is all colored. And then I just get another color just to mark and I create a symbol to show myself and remind myself that when I go back to the book to go through it again, I will just look at the ones that I got wrong, okay? So let me just show you what it looks like in the book. So here, let me just focus a little bit, zoom in. Yeah, so here you see taxonomy, it's in blue. So I know that nosology, taxonomy, these are terms that I need to know There's what they mean, right? And then this, I, I know that within these two pages, I got this one wrong. So when I go back, I would just look at this one. So just create a symbol. And of course, if you don't want to... Uh, some people are really <laughs> picky about these things. They don't. They don't want to. They don't like writing on their books. For me, honestly, guys, it's about passing the test. So I'll do whatever I need to pass. And at the moment, I'm going to give this book away to a friend. So I actually think that I made it easier for her because I have it all highlighted and everything. So anyway, I don't care. But some people are really peculiar about that. So just use a pencil. But create a symbol just so you know, like an X or something, that you got that one wrong. So if it's yellow, for me, see this page is all written too. And I'll write down things because I'm very visual. So I'll just write, like for example here, and I actually use some exclamation because I know that Z scores and, and T scores, they all, they are, there is all is a question. Uh, the N NCE always has a question about that. So Z scores are the same as standard deviations. So I thought, wow, that's a very good tip. So I just highlighted. So yeah, that's how it works. Nothing complicated. And I hope it helps you because I know some for some people, it's harder to create systems and to, you know, you know, have some kind of organization. I hope that helps. And yeah. I don't know if that is helpful, but I thought some people do not have a method and I like to share everything that helps me so it can help maybe help you study. So finally, I have some tips that I wrote down here. Final tips for you before you take the NCE. <music> Tip number one, answer all the questions. As I told you, they do give you the option of flagging, but you don't know how long it's going to take you and you get a little nervous. You maybe be rushing through questions and then you get stuck on one. So make sure that by the end, you go through all the questions and you answer every single one of them. Don't leave one unanswered, which will show, it will show in red when you go back to review, but don't do that because let's say for some reason you reach the four hours and you don't have time to go back, at least you tried. So answer every question and just flag the ones that you were not sure about. Second, second uh, tip is do take a break. It's so important to just do some breathing. I, I, have, I took a break when I, 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 I thought first, I'm going to take a break when I finished the first hundred. But then I said, no, I, I need to feel more. Again, it's about confidence, right? I looked at the time because it's always showing you the time that you have left and the, the, how many questions you have left. So that's something visual that will help you, you know, orient yourself and, and plan for time in, in, in terms of timing. So when I felt confident that I had enough time, I asked for a break, I went to the bathroom, just took a walk. That's very important because we know that our brains get tired and you're doing this with a little bit of tension. So do take a break halfway through, maybe a little more like I did. I, I think I answered 120 questions. So that's the second tip for you. Let me see, read. Oh yes, and lastly, the last thing I did when I studied for this, and this is something that Dr. Rosenthal uh, tells you to do, he suggests it, go to your, your state board and read the Code of Ethics in the MBCC Code of Ethics. It's really important to do that because they do have quite a few questions about ethical stuff. So finally, last but not least, I want to give you one very important tip 
that will help you you know kind of reframe you know you're all counselors you know what that means you know how reframing is so important for our mindset so i know you're most of you are dreading it you're thinking oh my i just told you 716 pages to read and to kind of mem- there's a lot of memorization a lot to retain but here's what I did in terms of reframing that really helped me. And I actually suggested that to my friend. And she said, Paula, it was that thing, that thing that you told me that made me decide to take the NCE sooner than later. Because she, she graduated a few months before I did. So here's, how, here's what you do. Take the NCE as a gift that you give yourself. I had actually uh, applied, registered for the NCE for October, and I just, uh, I suffered for about a month, couldn't open the book, I was tired, I was going through a lot of things, and I actually, I I rescheduled it, and you don't want to do that because you pay $50 to reschedule, you had already paid $275, that's at least now into 2022, so it was close to Christmas and this is how I reframed it. Okay, this is going, I'm going to start 2022 by giving myself this gift. I deserve to pass. I deserve to get this out of my way and I'm just going to to give this gift to myself and it really helped every time I was dreading studying I was tired I was seeing clients all day I usually try to do it in the morning because that's when your of course your brain is fresh but every time that happened I would say no I don't deserve to take this test again I'm going through this it's just a month month and a half at the most it's going to pass and then I'll get get it over with so that's one reframing for you the other reframing that i find very helpful and i know a lot of people struggle with that is the being nervous and anxious about taking the test and when you sit down i remember when i sat down i felt my heart pounding oh my goodness finally taking the test but i have to calm down and we do all all the things that we tell our clients to do you know the breathing exercise but here's one very important reframing that you can do too. When you feel that heart pounding, instead of dreading it and feeling, Ugh, why are you doing the thing? Can I just calm down? You shouldn't be. No, remember that when your heart beats fast, when you get that sense of a little bit of anxiety, which is very normal, what, what your heart is doing is actually helping you because it's pumping oxygen to your brain so that you can be sharper and you can do much better on the test, okay? So these are two reframing techniques or ideas for you. So every time your heart, you start, start to feel nervous and you look at that timer going down and the number of questions, You just say, okay, thank you. Thank you for sending oxygen to my brain. I'm going to do fine. And if you do do need it, do some breathing. So these are my tips for you. I hope this video was helpful. I wish you the best of luck. You can, anybody can do it. Remember, it's a lot of application, a lot of common sense. And the theory you need is in this book. And these two books that I showed you and all the material that that they you don't have it doesn't have to be this but I can tell you that at least it worked for me it worked for both of my friends actually one of them passed it on to me and I'm going to pass it on to my up to my friend who is taking the NCU next year so the best of best of luck to you I hope you pass and I'm sure you will if you go through the way I told you to do I suggested you you will do great. So good luck. And I hope you like this video. If you did, please like it because it will make it easier for other people like you who are searching for answers for the NCE. Find the video. Okay. Thank you so much and have a great day. Mm-hmm.